Hello, I'm Professor Michael Lunn, consultant neurologist and clinical lead in neuroimmunology. I've worked at the National Hospital for Neurology for 25 years, of which 15 I've been a consultant. As the clinical lead in neuroimmunology, I run the Neuroimmunology and CSF Laboratory, where we provide an NHS service for testing blood and spinal fluid for the diagnosis, prognosis of disease and treatment. We support not only Queen Square and the National Hospital, as well as UCLH, but over 400 other hospitals in the UK and worldwide. The Neuroimmunology Laboratory tests over 100,000 samples per year using more than 40 different tests and is continually developing new methods to assist patients and clinicians in their disease journey. Brain and nerve diseases release tiny amounts of molecules into body fluids. Sometimes these amounts are so small as to be extremely difficult to measure. Until recently, technology hasn't existed to measure these tiny amounts, and so they've been inaccessible to us. Now a machine called the Single Molecule Analyzer, or SINMOA, enables us to measure things at a hundred to a thousand times lower concentration than before. The volumes of sample are the same as for normal tests, but using the special methodology of bead binding, well luminescence and statistical readout, we can measure single molecules present in the samples that we have. This is equivalent to being able to measure a teaspoon of sugar dissolved in a full-sized Olympic swimming pool. In the laboratory and in collaboration with several other Institute of Neurology groups, we've developed biomarker tests for dementias, multiple sclerosis, motor neurone disease and neuropathies which are testable in the blood and CSF of patients and now can be rolled out for clinical use. Using them clinically means having the equipment to do this in an NHS service laboratory. We can now also develop further tests in parallel those we, uh, to those we have ready. For instance, there are two tests of peripheral nerve damage that we are about to bring up for clinical use and others that uh, we are in the process of working up to the correct standard for use in patients. We're enormously grateful to the Innovation Fund of the National Brain Appeal for helping us translate great science into clinical benefit for patients and we'll keep you up to date with how this project is going on here on this site. Thank you.